Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we're sharing our unconventional life with you from Ecuador. And today we're going to Montanita. While we're walking up to the taxi stand, if you're new to our channel, take a moment to hit that subscribe button if you're thinking about moving to Ecuador or traveling here after the quarantine is lifted. Yep, and ring the bell. You'll get notified on all of our upcoming videos. Let me get the door for you. Oh, well, thank you. Plastic. Yes, it's very Mont clean. Montanita. Well, that was a nice cab, Amelia. I know, it's so clean. It's very clean and that, their dividers are very clear. You could easily hit your head on them. <laughs> yeah, you could. If you so, weren't paying attention. This is the first time we've been this far south in three months, as JP pointed out to me on their way over. It's interesting because they still have their streets blocked off and alone has opened theirs. Not only are they blocked off for cars, but for people, I guess. Oh, I see, they have a gate here. Aquí está la puerta. need to be back here. <laughs> it is. What's the same? Uh, there's a lot less people. Yeah, there aren't as many people. And they're letting cars in. Yep. They painted these things in alone too. This is, I guess, to delineate the three meters between people as they wait to go into the pharmacy. This is the store where Amelia bought her rash guards. And yeah, my rash guard and my surf suit. Oh yeah, and we're gonna see if they can make her a full body suit because the water's already kind of going a little cooler and the air is cooler and so she doesn't want to be cold. No, I don't. I don't know if I really need a true wetsuit, but we're gonna look and see if there's something like that here too. But they do have some fabric that's thicker weight. Yeah, so. and they custom make things here too. Yes, which is great for us short girls. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sure that that's gonna work out. They don't, they don't have any thicknesses, so I think Amelia needs something that's a little bit thicker, like a two mil. Yeah, that's what was recommended to me for the colder months, which I guess will start in September. The water temperature does drop down. Yeah, it gets cool here, and the air air temperature gets cool too. So, and they quoted us uh, 170 for a custom-made wet full-body wetsuit made out of their. I think it's just one mil is would be about as thick as it gets. Yeah, I think so. It's so weird to be here with nobody here. Yeah, a lot of stuff is still closed. Banco Boliviariano, their window is still closed. It looks like a lot of, well, obviously all the bars are still closed. Looks like a lot of restaurants are closed. However, it's early. Maybe some of them will be opening for lunch today. The Banco Guayaquil ATM had money. Oh, that's good. Yep. <laughs> it is, looks like a ghost town though. Yeah. Normally this is all bustling with activity. It's a lot different than alone, which is a lot more active. Let's go see the beach. Okay. The beach is so beautiful and almost empty. It's so weird to see it without any people on it. Normally there's so many people here and there's a few surfers, but not a lot. Normally there is a line of people waiting to have their picture taken with this sign. Not today. There's some surfers. Like you, <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Western Union is currently closed, although the sign says it's supposed to be open. So you just never know, right, Amelia? You never know. The one in uh, Tia was open last time we were there. We've heard good things about this new market, El Pueblo Market, that they have some different selections that they have in Tia, so we're excited to go check it out. That's hard to find here. Peter Pan. Yeah, they had um, garbanzo flower, JP, oh, sea wow. salt, and linasa seeds or flax seeds, which we have not been able to get. Oh, that's good. I know, I'm really excited. I agree. What is herba yerba mate? Is that like mate de coca, only de herba? Uh, I think it's some sort of tea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fancy. It does. That's an Amelia sized bag of coffee. Oh my gosh, JP, behind that bag of coffee, I see Snyder's pretzels. Oh I have gosh. a serious pretzel weakness. We should totally get the Snyder's pretzels. We haven't had those since we left the States. And look at this, they have rice paper. Although you probably shouldn't get them. They'll probably be gone in like two seconds. Oh, and seaweed for sushi, I guess. Are getting some black seed? Yeah, and garbanzo flour. So I've been making our, I've been making our own tofu, but I've been rationing the chickpea flour. 
because we could only get it at Super Maxi, so this is awesome. In Salinas, yeah, they, yes. they haven't found it anywhere else here. Let's get some of that. So they have this size or the big? Mas grande es mejor. Okay. Wow, that's a big bag. It is a big bag. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Six dollars and ten cents. Seis con diez. diez. They have aceite de coco. That's co coconut oil, right? Yes. That's not as easy to find here as you might think, uh, given how many coconuts they have in Ecuador. Do they have your chocolate? Yes! <laughs> this is Amelia's addiction, one of them. Chocolate and coffee. I haven't had the Kari. I haven't had, again, we can only get it at Super Maxi. They have all kinds of good stuff here. They do have good stuff. I'm very impressed. Oh, look here. They have our Indian bars, too. No, I saw that. Wow. This bueno. Is very exciting. They have tofu, smoked tofu and queso vegano. Uno de cada uno. Por favor. Yes, all right. We, I'm so excited. <laughs> We've had this brand before. They sell this at Super Maxi. It's muy delicioso. It's got a smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. You want you want some of this? Yeah, let's get some, even though it's not on my low fat diet, but I don't think we're gonna need to go to Tia. We still need almond milk. Oh yeah, I forgot. Maybe they sell some here. We're gonna yeah, let's try, try this uh, soy milk? Yeah. It's such a pretty <laughs> packaging. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they have all kinds of our delicious non flour gluten free pasta. We buy this stuff at Super Maxi, but have not seen it here in Olona or Moganita. And they have rice and almond milk. And then Amelia has found her favorite spot. It looks like they have a nice wine selection. Yeah. Vino tinto y blanco. Yes. It's not the normal stuff. It's better. It's a little it's, higher end. It's mejor. I think. Vino I mejor. They have hummus, Amelia. <laughs> you can get your hummus fix. I do love hummus. Yeah, but I actually like yours. Yours is really good. Well, and remember we have the Poke Bowl place. Oh, the Poke Bowl place. They make awesome hummus. Yeah, they do. We were going to go to Tia, but we got everything we needed in El Pueblo Market. Every Everything and more. I'm so excited. Yeah, we spent $72, but we got four bags of groceries and a lot of it's really hard to find stuff and stuff that's even more expensive at Super Maxi. Yep. But we didn't buy the pretzels and no. Maya used her willpower. I did. I was afraid I would not control myself. <laughs> yeah. The nice thing about the chocolate is a little goes a long way, but when it comes to pretzels, I just keep on going. They're yeah. like, they're my potato chip. She dies in right to the bottom of the bag. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Amelia, where are we going to find a cab? I think we're going to have to go to Tia anyway, because that's where all the taxis were. The taxi stand in Montanita is closed. All right, well, let's walk. Oh, I guess, I guess that dog went to heaven. Oh. It's sad. I am getting hot from my mask. Yes, it's hot. It fogs up my glasses. I'm I hate really, that. Yeah, but the sun's out. Unconventional is what you don't know is the last two days were super cloudy and Sunday was a total drizzle day. It was kind of a nice change, but I prefer this weather even if I am a little sweaty. <laughs> we were really impressed with El Pueblo Market. I'm really glad we found that place. Yeah, me too. And we will put a link to them in the description below. I wanted to clarify in the last video, I said that the beaches and the parks in Ecuador are officially open. That's not 100% accurate. As with many things here, you'll find that they lack specificity. Mm -hmm. So what they have allowed is open water swimming, diving and surfing, but they haven't explicitly opened the beaches. So I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to do any of those activities if you can't go to the beach, but I guess you could surf down the highway. Maybe <laughs> no, so it's Dive implied. in an open manhole. <laughs> There's plenty of those. You could do that, I don't do that. <laughs> it so is implied. It is implied. <laughs> And also, what's the update on the bus situation, Amelia? So uh, the buses, the interprovincial buses, I believe were approved to run as of Monday, June 15th. However, the national government said it was dependent on each canton's uh, agreement and they can only go between yellow and green uh, areas. areas. Thank you. Yep. So, so no red zones, no, the red zones are still closed. Right, so I saw uh, the CLP buses, which that's the one we've taken from Guayaquil to Olón and vice versa, posted that they were gonna be running on Monday, but then they had to post a retraction because Guayaquil said, nope, we are not authorizing those buses yet. Yeah, so Guayaquil is still locked off. Although if you, I guess, have enough money, it's open. <laughs> so we've seen people from Guayaquil here in their personal cars. We even saw a tour bus last weekend 
from Guayaquil. Yeah, so maybe that was a private tour bus. I have no idea, but yeah. that's on hold. Um, also, the government extended the state of emergency until August 15th. So that has been extended for another 60 days. I think that is it for the quarantine report from Ecuador. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking with our patrons on our private chat community Discord a lot lately regarding traveling to Ecuador and flying with your pets. Yeah, so if you're interested in joining that conversation that's not on Facebook and it's our private community, our band of unconventionals, I'll put a link above Amelia's head <laughs> right up there so that you can come join us. We are a growing community and we love to have new members. Yes, we do. All right, I think we're gonna wrap up this video with some drone footage from many on this beautiful beach day here in Alone, Ecuador. If you enjoyed this video, please, as always, leave us a thumbs up. Yes, please. And leave your comments and questions down below and we'll do our best to get them answered. And we'll see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao. en mí, mi amor ya no dejes de mirarme que ya me gusta quien soy contigo me siento en control eres el balance en este mundo poco humor se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones se volvió ese chico que quería Diciendo que no es que no Esto es. sea tu ratero Que sea algo sincero Que un perro no cambia Y eso es lo que es él Pero tú lo viste, mi amor Tú yeah. viste mi mejor versión Hiciste lo que nadie quería Si es por para mis poesías Te toque tú solo sabes Chico con par de maldades Pero sincero yeah. ah, 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 verdadero, baby Que toque tú solo sabes que siento reales Yo lo prefiero que en un largo tiempo sea tu caballero Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Tú me curas cuando más me duele Sé que siempre has sabido amarme Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quería ver otra vez Y me enamoré a volverlo a ver Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Motivos para